What is your FAP frequency? What's so funny? What are you doing then? And I'm like, what's this one? No. <laughs> you're going on the internet. That's what you get for talking shit. That's not what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna try to squat. See how it feels. I did 365 for five earlier in the week and I felt medium pain. So I'd like to do 385 or so today for some threes or fives. Uh, bench, maybe close grip, eights or tens. Um, we'll see. Uh, that's all we got planned. What the muscle docs say about your body? Well, I'd say it was kind of like a ten out of ten. It sounds like I have, uh, which like uh, <clears throat> couldn't sleep much the last couple of nights. My hip was hurting, and I remember a time when I was a freshman in high school where uh, I had a lot of hip pain and like taking off on that leg or running with that leg, it hurt a lot. Um, so his diagnosis so far is probably just some like pelvic instability, uh, which is 100% possible. Like your pelvis is a weird thing because it's not supposed to move, but everything around it moves. So there's tons of ligaments and muscles. I kind of hold it steady, uh, but it's not supposed to move much. So all I do is go up and down, up and down in a squat. And if there is instability, maybe even in the hole, when I hit the hole nice and aggressive, um, or unracking it, or even doing lunges, or playing basketball, dicking around, there's some instability, some muscles can tighten up or get weird. Um, so we're trying to work on that. That's what all these like warm-ups are. Uh, different ways to fire up, like glute meat and some other muscles around the hip uh, that help that stability. Well, the main movers, you know, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, actually move the weight. Um, so we'll try that for a couple weeks, see what happens. If not, we'll move on to cycling our new sport. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> still got a bench press, but I always try to make this informational. Um, Instagram at Silent Mike. Sometimes we'll ask some questions. You can just ask questions here and there and we'll scroll through them. But uh, what's your preferred powerlifting five day workout split? So when you guys are talking workout splits, um, typically this happened from more of the aesthetic bodybuilding world where people would do, they'd pair up muscle groups or train a muscle group a day uh, back in the day and they would do chest and triceps, back and biceps, hamstrings and calves, quads and abs or something of that nature. Um, in powerlifting, typically we only have three lifts and that's what we're worried about. And then it's about how much frequency we need and can handle in each three lifts to get better. Um, and then how you split that up not to say it doesn't matter, um, because obviously if you're squatting three days a week, you don't wanna go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then not squat. Um, but a lot of it is um, big picture programming, small picture programming, um, you know, six months ahead, three months ahead, one month ahead, and then within the week, uh, how like heavy, light, heavy, light kind of depends on your rep scheme. Um, point being is in powerlifting, it's very common for people to squat two to four times a week, uh, bench two to four times a week and deadlift maybe one, two, maybe three times a week. And then uh, you kind of just split that up evenly throughout the week based on the loads you have. And now I'm gonna go build pecs. My boy Rags, Austin, Warehouse Gym, Flag nor Fail. Congratulations on your meet. I think you pulled a pretty good PR. He asked me, shows our friendship, uh, this question. How many Chick-fil-A gift cards are currently in your fanny pack? And I don't know if I ever told the story, but shout out to Mr. Chick-fil-A himself uh, for sending me some Chick-fil-A uh, meal cards. And the truth is, there's only one left. So. It's a sad world. Austin, I think you're in uh, Montana now. They probably don't even have Chick-fil-A. I feel sorry for you. You're probably just eating buffalo on the side of the road or something, goose. Uh, but 
Maybe you'll make it out here or I'll make it out there and I'll bring you guys some Chick-fil-A to the new West Coast. It's Montana West Coast? It's West Coast. What is your FAP frequency? How intense is it usually? And do you utilize DUP to program in uh, some fapping accessories? Now, <clears throat> when you're talking about fapping and trying to optimize your training, um, I've done a lot of research on this and I believe you know the, the longest FAP without finish um, is like 90 hours or something of that nature. And, and the longest or <clears throat> the most FAPs in 24 hours with a finish, uh, I believe is around uh, over, over the 40 uh, mark, which is, you know, you do the math, it's a couple an hour and that's quite impressive. So I think if you're really trying to go for a world record, um, you're really gonna have to get some daily undulating periodization in there um, and probably block it out as well, where you're gonna need some downtime. Um, you know, I don't know from any experience whatsoever, but calluses may be an issue. Uh, so I'd probably watch your frequency. Uh, intensity may be an issue depending on your age. Uh, the older we get, the less frequency uh, we can handle just as human beings, male or female, uh, whoever it might be. So I would probably just, uh, so just hiring a coach. Um, I think Pornhub.com has an online coaching program. Um, there might be some local coaches. Uh, just go to the sketchiest street in your local neighborhood and they might be able to help you out. One, two. Ladies and gentlemen, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below with your questions if you like this style of video. A little bit of lifting, a little bit of vlog, a little bit of Q&A. Uh, we're gonna go grab food after this. Not sure if we'll film it or not, but we got one last question of the day. Uh, what kind of programming or rep ranges would you recommend for someone whose focus is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Uh, now, when you're talking about sports, um, they're much more complicated than powerlifting. Uh, powerlifting, we can break down every little thing because it's just an hour in the gym and all we have to do is get really good at three different lifts. Um, we're talking about jujitsu and now I'm no martial artist. I'm, I, I know what jujitsu is. I'm a casual uh, fan of some of this stuff, the UFC and, 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 and MMA. Uh, so the word pops up and I understand it, um, but I don't know the frequency and I don't know the intensity that you're uh, training it at. So if you're a professional basketball player and you <clears throat> have shoot around conditioning in games, you know, maybe 10 sessions a week, maybe, maybe, maybe less, or excuse me, maybe more. So you're, you're training maybe six days plus a week at a very high level. A lot of wear and tear on the body, a lot of movement, a lot of uh, soreness uh, potentially. So um, in that case, you know, we're going to train lesser rep ranges. We're only going to do maybe ones through threes. You're less likely to get sore. We're going to do some basic movements. We're going to do some variations. I think squat bench dead could still definitely be involved. Um, but your training through a season of basketball is going to almost look um, more like a warm up. You're going to be doing stiff legs with some dumbbells. You maybe uh, hit a deadlift set or two, but it's 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 very low intensity. So you're not sore. So you're not beat up. And so we lower the, the risk of injury. Um, in jujitsu, again, because I don't know how serious you are, if you're a casual guy and you're going twice a week, you could probably train a normal powerlifting um, programming uh, where, you know, four or five times a week, uh, intensity is fairly high or moderate, uh, frequency is fairly high uh, and volume is fairly high and you'll be able to recover because you're only doing that twice a week. Now, again, I don't know much about jujitsu, but if, ju if you're at a top level jujitsu guy and you're training uh, five, six, seven times a week or more with double sessions, uh, then that frequency and intensity of the training is going to have to come way down. Um, if you're a top level jujitsu guy and uh, actual competitive, now we can start to use some uh, periodization and block things out. If you have a competition, right now we're in October, if you have a competition in uh, May, uh, that's the world championships or something, right now would be a great time to really hit your training and get strong as strong as you can for the next um you know maybe eight to 12 weeks leading into january and february and then you could taper that off and then up your specificity of your sport so you could train kind of a baseline of jujitsu right now really focus on conditioning and strength and then you take that away so then you can up the frequency over here and you can fully recover uh, that's kind of just basic block periodization for powerlifting, sport anything else um any movements that help in 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 uh that aren't that specific, you know, just anything. Obviously a tight grip, uh, strong back, uh, balanced muscles, unilateral movements, so uh, Bulgarian split squats, uh, even lunges, squats themselves are probably great. Chin-ups, pull-ups, rows, kind of the basics. They, they are the basics of strength training because I believe uh, they, they help all sports and all aspects of life. So we get strong in the gym, we get conditioned in the gym or a, a track or something like that, and then we get good at our sport over here. So don't try to, you know, put on your gi and, and do some weird uh, handstand walk stuff just to get better at jujitsu strong in the gym and focus on your support over here it goes for all sports but um, to make an individual program there's just too many factors involved we couldn't really help you out but um, hopefully that helped you guys I'm gonna go eat
thumbs up, subscribe, more videos on the way, appreciate you.